When you think of a Formula One car, you think of the fastest cars on earth that accelerate like nothing else, but actually they stop even better than they accelerate. Paddy Lowe here, technical boss of Mercedes with the world champion car and a brake disc in his gloved hand. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so this brake disc, this is the heart of the stopping power of a Formula One car. We have one on every corner, buried right in there. Uh, this part will, will heat up to over a thousand degrees during a big stop. So it pretty much glows white hot. And the great thing is about it that even at that temperature it's incredibly strong and uh, very, very high friction. The material is called carbon carbon, so it is a kind of carbon fibre with a carbon matrix. Uh, almost imagine like a very, very strong charcoal. Uh, you can see I have gloves because it's a bit black, mm. um, but incredible component. This car will stop at, at almost 5G. So that's 5G hitting the driver when he hits the brakes at the, into turn three, for example, at Melbourne. Yeah. Huge amount of... Uh, so five, his head weighs five times its normal weight, right? Absolutely. So the, the engines we have are the, some of the most powerful engines in the world, and yet the braking is up to four times stronger as a, as a G-force to the driver. This is uh, a brake duct. It's actually one of the most complicated aerodynamic parts on the car. So conventionally and historically this was a component used to cool the brakes and it's called a brake duct and you can see even here a small inlet that's where the air goes in to cool the brake uh, but in reality we've turned this into a major aerodynamic component we can make really three-dimensional parts now using our CAD and then using the, the sophisticated machining methods we have um, putting that together yeah, five or ten years ago, that, that wouldn't have been possible.